Uh, it's just after 2.30 p.m. and uh, we seem to have lost power due to Hurricane Irene, or Tropical Storm Irene as it now is, and we're getting some pretty good wind gusts here. This is Samantha Smith from the Willsboro Weather Channel reporting to you from the shore of the Boquette River in downtown Willsboro, New York, in the Lake Champlain Valley. As you can see, the river is brown. It's very high. This is the fish ladder where salmon spawn. See, that stone thing isn't even covered down there. Yeah. It took all spring for the water to go down below that. Not too big a deal. No, it's not. I mean, the water's up a little from what it was, but... No, it's the waves. This is Samantha Smith from the Willsboro Weather Channel reporting to you from the shores of Lake Champlain in Willsboro, New York, the northern Champlain Valley. Right behind me, as you can see, is Lake Champlain. As you can see on the shore, there's waves coming across the lake, traveling to the southwest. There's an awfully strong wind, and there's a whole lot of rain. And this is Tropical Storm Irene, and its effect on our Lake Champlain shores here. It's recommended that people go inside their homes. There's branches flying. There's power outages everywhere. All of Willsboro, the power is out. Everybody should stay inside. We, that's oh right. My gosh. Uh, one of my camera crew just reminded me on a typical day when the weather is clear, the mountains of Vermont, the green mountains of Vermont, crystal clear behind me. You can see them on any other day. Today it's just a sea of mist. You can't see anything at all. But right back there behind me is the state of Vermont. <laughs> Did you tape him? Yeah, I did, but, uh, oh, there oh, it is. 
Oh, we've got to record this. We've got to do it. Yeah. All right. There you go. Well, I'm recording right now. Definitely. Hold on a second. Let me get the best. Dad, gone. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is Samantha Smith from the Willsboro Weather Channel reporting to you from downtown Willsboro. As you can see behind me, the Boquette River is overflowing its banks. This is the morning after Tropical Storm Irene. It's an incredible sight. No traffic is allowed over the bridge. <laughs> it's just unspeakable. Look at That's <laughs> down the right bridge. smell that again. I don't know whether that's methane or carbon dioxide. Do you know if it's still coming up or is it uh, starting to go down now? Holy crap. That one went straight under. I told you, this, this road was going to flood and we were going to get trapped down there, possibly. Ooh.
gonna get as high as the bridge. What do you want to ask him? What's your name? I'm James Provost, Assistant Chief of World War Fire Department. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, usually in the winter time and spring when the ice goes out, the river jams up, the ice is stopped and the floods over here. But this right here is the worst I've seen in the last, last 30 years. I mean, it's just right now, it's unbelievable how much water we got coming down through here. And it's just rising. Mother Nature at our best. Have you ever seen Will Ferrell get hit with a tropical storm before? Yes. You have? Oh, yeah. How long? Uh, I would say probably okay. What you got 20, 30 Do we years ago. Well, we got hit with one before. But I think this is the, the worst in ground because we're, we're not the only one. Everybody statewide, countywide around us is having the same problem. And uh, right now we're trying to get some manpower from other towns to come and assist us. They don't have manpower either because they're doing okay. the same thing. We'll we're just, just trying to keep everything going. So. Any word on when the power is going to be back then? Hopefully soon. <laughs> and then that way we can uh, do more. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do more. Then people can get their uh, sub pumps back running. That's yeah. saving us from pumping out cellars. I mean, right now we got probably less of 30 to 40 pumps, wow. and we only got two pumps with six guys. And, Oh, wow. So it takes a while. So hopefully the power can get back on, and you can get the pumps running, and that'll help us out quite a bit. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice thank you. Too. All right. Have fun. Downtown Willsboro, you want to get a shot of this? The flooding in downtown? I sure did. Yeah, I have been. Go. Standing here this morning on the bridge overlooking the Boquette River in downtown Willsboro. It's just an amazing sight. Residents are here on the bridge. They say they haven't seen anything like this before, except during an ice storm during the winter. But it's not winter time, it's summer. And since we've been here, the water has risen about 10 inches. And that's just in the last half hour since we've been here. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and we're told that the water is gonna crest at 4 p.m. this afternoon, which means that residents could be out of their homes and there could be some more serious flooding here. And when we thought that tropical storm Irene was coming yesterday, nobody ever thought we would wake up to something like this. Okay. We gotta get one more shot of the frog. Dad, go on. Not looking so bad now down there, but uh, but the road looks like heck. Oh, I don't know if it's got any more skin. I mean, there's nothing much under that bit, okay? Hmm. Down trees and branches and residents cleaning up their yards in Willsboro is a typical sight this morning after Tropical Storm Irene. Going to check on one of our campers here. Excuse me, sir. How did you survive the storm last night? Are they gone? Oh man. Uh, well, there was some raccoons. They got in here. They got into my peanut butter, my checks, and uh, one other thing. Yeah, come on and look. Yeah. I don't know how they got in here. They actually worked the latch of that door to get in here. 
That's how they got in. They uh, they didn't tear their way through the canvas. I'm sure they would have if they didn't know how to open the door. Wow, better, the place is ransacked. Yeah, I better check to see they didn't hack my Facebook too if they got in the door that way. But that's my peanut butter. It's my checks, and they got uh, a whole container of raisins. You can see the container sitting on the ground outside, exactly where they left it. But I had to chase them out of here, and then they. Uh, they ran after the dog. They actually uh, charged the dog up against the fence. Well, the second one that I ran out of here did. And, uh, you know, I ran and got the pit for it, but they ran off by then. Then they came back. They first ran up in the trees, actually, right there. So what do you think brought these raccoons on the storm? Oh, yeah, they're probably just looking for food. They're probably hungry. The, the hurricane probably disrupted their foraging. You know, but, uh... You know, they kept coming and coming right up till dawn, and they kept uh, messing with the dog up right on the other side of the fence. I hope they weren't rabid. But... I'm sick of these hurricanes. I'm moving back to Florida where it's safe. Oh, that says that I mean, took out all the power and started power outages and blackouts. How does that make you feel, Danny? It's very sad. This video is dedicated to our dog, Jesse, who's been through five tropical cyclones with us. Uh, Charlie, uh, Francis, Jean, Wilma, and now Irene. So she survived them all, and she, this is the dog who helped me chase off the raccoons last night. <laughs>